And then depending on how that goes, we'll, you know, we might roll that out to a few other places. But we'll try to do interesting, fun things that are not necessarily economically sensible, but they're cool. Although electric vehicle sales in the United States have climbed by more than 40% each year, the question with the charging network is whether it's good enough. Will it be adequate for tomorrow and the world of 2025? As the top producer of electric vehicles in the world, Tesla will add more than 340 new supercharger locations across the US in 2022. So how fast is the charging speed of Tesla's supercharger, and where will they be installed? Moreover, if new batteries are released, will Tesla have a policy on replacing batteries to speed up the charging process? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. We'll do a couple of just fun, fun things, like we're gonna do a really fun supercharger location in LA. Last year, Tesla installed nearly 4,000 supercharger stations worldwide, a 34% increase year on year. The number of Tesla stations in the first three months of 2022 was 3,724, representing a 7.13% increase over the previous quarter. Recently, the company announced the opening of more than 340 new supercharger points throughout the United States. News of the supercharger network expanding further will surely get Tesla owners excited. The Tesla supercharger stations are the fastest chargers available, but they can also wear down the battery faster. Tesla has a strategy to place superchargers around highways and major travel routes throughout the country to make longer trips more accessible. We can see that there are 342 new locations that will soon receive Tesla superchargers. Their locations stretch from the east coast to the west coast and include eight previously unknown superchargers around Los Angeles, one in Las Vegas, one just outside Salt Lake City in Provo, a handful in Texas, and a host in New York. There are also 54 new superchargers to be rolled out across Canada. Of course, Tesla is far from the only company that is expanding its network of chargers. Siemens wants to establish a million EV chargers over the next four years, while Electrify America is looking to soon deploy 10,000 ultra-fast chargers at 1,800 locations. Now, if you're considering purchasing a Tesla vehicle, you won't need to worry about the lack of charging stations. Which brings us to the question, have you ever wondered how much it would cost and how much time it would take to charge at a supercharger station? For all Tesla models, 25 to 30 minutes will get you a full charge. Tesla says that you can get up to 200 miles in 15 minutes. It depends on a few factors to get the exact timing, like the degradation of the battery, the charger itself, and even the weather. Cold weather is known to slow the charging process down. The Tesla Model S Plaid had the quickest charging time for an electric vehicle. It accepted 250 kilowatts of charge for five minutes, beating the regular Model S charging speed by around 20%. Moreover, you don't have to worry about carrying cash or credit cards when using a supercharger. Since each Tesla car is linked to a specific account, the charging fees will be automatically billed to your Tesla account. Tesla owners are charged by the minute in some areas and by the number of units and kilowatt hours they draw from the grid in others. Depending on the model and battery size, it'd cost you around $25 on average to completely charge your Tesla. For a charging station that charges by the minute, the rates could be anywhere between $0.84 cents to $1.34 per minute. In contrast, the rate for a 150 kilowatt Electrify America charging is $0.32 cents per minute and $0.24 cents per minute for Pass Plus members. Tesla is also trying to cut charging costs for car owners to just $0.10 cents per minute. Besides that, the idle fee is charged per minute and varies between locations. If a car remains parked after it's fully charged, it incurs an idle fee of 50 cents per minute if the station is less than 50% full and $1 per minute if it's 100% full. The battery will degrade over time if we plan to use a Tesla vehicle for six to seven years. Or in a few years, you may want to use Tesla's groundbreaking new batteries with fast charging capabilities. So can Tesla batteries be replaced? Tesla batteries can obviously be replaced, but only Tesla service centers can replace the battery, as Tesla does not allow third-party body repair shops to do it. Furthermore, Tesla does not sell vehicle batteries to third parties. After the repair, Tesla will not give you the old battery pack. Tesla will instead keep it for their use even if you paid for the new battery pack. Replacing a Tesla battery is costly. 
Musk stated back in 2019 that replacing battery modules would cost between five to seven thousand dollars. Each Tesla model uses between four to five battery modules per vehicle, meaning a complete replacement will set you back between twenty to thirty-five thousand. However, according to a bill from an owner, a complete 75 kilowatt hour battery replacement for a Model 3 only costs $16,550. That's $2,299 in labor and $14,251 in parts, with the actual battery costing $13,500. If you're going to replace your damaged battery pack with a refurbished one, the average cost would probably be around thirteen to 17000 depending on the complexity of the work. However, if you opt for a completely new battery, you should be ready to shell out upwards of $25,000. But then again, where do Tesla batteries go at the end of their service life? Tesla takes full responsibility for its used and degraded battery packs. The company will recycle 100% of its batteries that return to the factory worn out. Its extraction processes can make 92% of the valuable materials useful again recently stated that its battery manufacturing facilities in the United States will accept used Tesla batteries on site for processing. So, how do you feel about the way Tesla runs its superchargers? And for the Tesla owners, would you replace your current battery for the new ones? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.